As we all know, Filmmaker Sound is 50% of your film and just it's extremely important to get good sound to you know really immerse your viewers in the whole film experience. Um, obviously sound is very important in every film. It's at least you know half of the entire production and uh, that's when, where half your quality is going to come from. And for this film it was really as important to make this as most of an immersive experience for the audience as possible. Um, especially being late at night, we really wanted to get the great ambient noises that happen. And especially in this scenario of life or death, uh, just giving that really immersive sound and making the audience feel like they're right there in the car with them, especially at the beginning and uh, throughout the whole scene was, was very important. This film was very dialogue heavy, so that was kind of very important for sound um, to capture all that. As well as it wasn't because of the, the time constraints of three minutes, it wasn't super suitable to have like a ton of ton of music playing throughout, which is easy. Sometimes it's easy to kind of mask like bad audio with um, music um, in the background, but that wasn't the case for this film, so we had to have good audio in that, and um, I think the uh, film improved um, just because we had um, good quality audio. The sound designer boom operator for this film, it was imperative for me to be kind of in all kinds of positions, all kinds of weird places um, to kind of capture the audio for these characters. For example, like we had this one scene where our guy sprinting, just mad sprint um, across the forest, and I was just I run along with the with the microphone, trying to capture that audio as well, trying to capture like the feed, but also the screams at the same time, as well as trying not to get too much wind noise or anything like that. So that was kind of a challenge, but um, trying my best to kind of get in and all kinds of uh, all kinds of angles and everything, just to get that best pristine audio. So when we weren't like frantically trying to you know get to the next shot or whatever, and we had a couple moments to just you know really listen to our surroundings and be, and think like, okay, what sounds would really help? immerse our viewers into this scene. So I think aside from sound, lighting was probably the the most important aspect to this film, or one of the most important aspects to this film. We needed a main source of light to illuminate our actors, and uh, the light from the car was just too dim, and we couldn't have you know, the headlights on for eight hours. I'm um, just setting up the, the lights in one area, mainly just trying to simulate moonlight because we were filming at night. Just keeping the, the moonlight, or the simulated moonlight consistent, was really important. So really just maintaining continuity throughout this film was important, whether it's sound um, or lighting, just to prevent any inconsistencies from occurring.